This is how you fade an image to a color in Photoshop. All right, so before we get started with the actual effect, I'm gonna do a few things to the project first to get us set up. So the first thing is gonna to be to duplicate my background layer, so Command or Control J to make a copy. Then I'm gonna click on the background layer and expand the canvas. So I'm gonna go up to Image, down to Canvas Size, and I'm just gonna widen it a little bit. So I'm gonna add like a little bit to the width, so I'm gonna make it 6,000 or so, click OK. So that widens it a bit. Then I'm gonna go over to the background layer again and go edit, fill, and I'm just gonna pick either black or white. So let's just go white, click okay, and that makes this background layer that's expanded a little bit. I'm just doing that because a lot of times when you're fading to a color, you don't have to move your image over and then your image might end and then there's like some more of the canvas there. So I'm just kind of exaggerating that a little bit. So if you have a situation like that, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is Click on your image layer, go to your rectangular marquee tool. If you don't see it, right click, you might see one of these. So rectangular marquee. And then just select this kind of open space right here, a little bit overlapping with your image. Then just go up to edit, down to fill. And then for contents, make sure you have content aware and then click OK. That's just gonna fill in the rest of that gap with information from the rest of the image. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it's not gonna be. We just wanna fill that in so when we do the fade to our color, the transition of the fade is always over top of image. If our picture was cut off right here, then when the transition was happening, we could only go to this point. We'd have to have solid color from here until the end, but because we filled the whole thing in, we have a little bit more flexibility within the fade. Okay, so once you have your image set, all we have to do is go down to this little half circle thing, click on it, and select gradient. That's gonna open up the gradient fill editor here. To start, we're gonna deal with our angle. Now, 90 is straight up and down. We got negative 90 down here. You got 180 this way and zero this way. So for me, I need to go the color here to transparent over here. So I'm gonna make sure I fill this in as zero degrees. You pick what makes sense for your image. And then we're just gonna click within the gradient here, within this little slider thing here, click on that. That's gonna open up the gradient editor. And we're just gonna do a few things down here. First of which is to drag whatever you have over here in the bottom right, click on it and drag it out. So there's nothing there. Now, if you have a whole bunch of boxes here for some reason, just go up to basics and click this first one. You'll get the look that I had right there. Okay, next we're gonna deal with our color. So now the bottom left one right here is my color. I'm gonna click on that, click on color and pick your color. So you can pick anything in here that you want. I'm just gonna pick a color from the image, so this green right here. I'm gonna click OK. Then we're gonna deal with the transition. So this box right here, if you can see, opacity 0%. This one at the top here, opacity 100%. So now that we have our color, we're gonna deal with how the transition happens. So right now, this is the only thing that's solid color here, and then all the way at this end, this is where it gets to be transparent. So to manipulate that, we can drag these in. So if I drag this to let's say 50% now, you can see that this is all solid green, and then our transition from solid to transparent happens between here and here. So within the image, it would happen from here till the, the side of the image over here. So for me, I'm gonna go to about there maybe, and then my transparent, I don't want it to be way over here, because now that means some green is over top of her. So I wanna make sure I drag this so that everything for her is transparent. Everything that's over top of her is transparent. Maybe I can go over a little bit and then maybe bring this over a little bit. Okay, so once you have it good, just click okay. And then you can just click on the green here, like on your color, and you can actually click and slide it to adjust where the transition happens as well. Now that you can you know, see it on the image a little bit better. So I'm gonna move it to about there. And then you can also adjust your scale. So if I click on scale, I click on the word and I slide to the left, that's gonna bring this number down to one and you can see that makes a really harsh transition. And if I go too far to the right, then it's gonna make it more gradual. So we can also adjust how the fade happens within here. So I'm gonna to go to about 125, 126, you know, somewhere in there. And then I'm gonna click okay. And there you go, that's how you fade an image to a color. But if you wanna make any changes, it's very easy. All you have to do is double click right here and it'll bring you back into the gradient fill editor and then you can do everything that we did before. 
cancel. And then obviously when you do this, you might wanna add something over here. So I'm just gonna add some text really quick. I already had something typed out. Paste it in, line it up, and you're good to go. To learn more about gradients in Photoshop, make sure to check out one of the videos that's on the screen right now.